Hi friends, greetings from Dr. M. V. Rao. Welcome to Science Smile Shorts. This study is on heat value or pungency of green chili and the effect of drying. This study also gives an idea of moisture in fresh green chili. Let us see some of the uses of green chili. Green chili is a regularly used commodity in the kitchen. It is used in curries, chutneys, soups and sauces. Green chili in vinegar is quite common. Many a time we get a doubt in mind whether green chili is hotter or red chili. Sometimes we also believe only fresh green chili is hot. Now let us see briefly what's pungency or heat value. Heat value or pungency of chili is a crucial parameter which decides on its quality. Heat value of chili is due to capsaicinoids present in the chili. Capsaicin is the essential principle responsible for pungency. Heat value is either expressed as capsaicinoids or as Scoville heat units, SHU. Scoville heat value of chili can be measured by two methods. One, by adding known quantity of chili extract to sugar syrup and measuring the biting sensation by a panel of experts. The second method is by estimation of capsaicinoids by using instruments like high performance liquid chromatography and converting the value to SHU by calculation. This study may be useful for analysts and researchers to understand the changes in capsaicin during drying of green chili, processes to understand the Scoville heat units in fresh and dried green chili. This study is also of use to the consumer to understand the pungency in fresh chili. This is a study made on one particular variety of chili that's locally available and shall vary with variety. These are pictures of fresh green chilies. They are shiny and green. They showed a moisture content of 85% as with most of the fresh produce. This picture shows the extract of fresh green chili in a solvent for quantification of capsaicinoids and pungency. The extract is filtered through a cartridge filter and then injected into HPLC. This video clip shows various steps and sequence of estimation of capsaicinoids in green chili by HPLC. As mentioned, the steps involve filtration, then injection of the clean clear filtrate to HPLC. The solvent is properly chosen to enable the separation of various capsaicinoids. This clip also shows the chromatogram of capsaicinoids in the injected sample. The moisture of fresh green chilies was found to be 85 percent. 
the pungency of fresh green chilies was found to be 40,000 Scoville heat units. This is done on dry basis by the estimation of capsaicinoids and conversion. The pungency was calculated on dry basis for the sake of uniformity and comparison. The fresh green chilies were air and sun dried for 10 days in open natural atmosphere. As can be seen in the pictures, the green chilies lost the color during the process of drying. The moisture of the product after drying was found to be 14%. Capsaicinoids were estimated in dried green chilies by HPLC as shown earlier in this video. The pungency of the dried product was found to be 43,000 Scoville heat units when tested by HPLC. The moisture of dried green chilies was found to be 14% upon air drying for 10 days in open. The heat value was found to be 43,000 Scoville heat units for the dried product. The chilies got discolored upon drying but were found to be having pungency unaffected in this experiment. Green chili shows capsaicin or pungency as red chili. It depends on the variety. Drying of green chili by natural means shall not change the capsaicin levels significantly. Here we have dried the green chilies in open air and the effect of machine drying is yet to be studied. The variations of capsaicin observed could be due to the variations in independent chilies when taken on average. However, it is understood that there is no reduction in capsaicin or pungency during drying in this experiment. Discoloration of green chilies on open drying either in the sunlight or in the air drying due to loss of pigments was obvious in the drying process as seen in the pictures above. Thank you friends for watching the video and all your cooperation. Please subscribe.